this is how the conversation went. I told my wife I was buying three rain barrels. She goes, what are you gonna do with those? I said, I'm gonna try to create a thermal mass to help retain heat inside the greenhouse for those really cold nights. She said, oh, okay. Uh, and she goes, well, what are you gonna fill it with? I said, well, water. She goes, why water? I said, well, you know, because it's the most conducive for uh, holding heat. So obviously you gotta fill it with water. Uh, then, <laughs> this is where it gets good. She says, you're not gonna fill that with our, our house water, are you? And uh, I said, well, I might have to because it's cold outside and all the rain barrels are frozen. And she said, I better not have a $120 water bill. So lo and behold, I am two weeks into trying to fill these. <laughs> so yeah, I originally bought these and it was pretty cold. It got to the freezing and then uh, my ring barrels froze and it was cold enough for a while that they just stayed frozen. So wasn't really getting any water out of them. And then recently, this past week or so, we've had a really nice above, above freezing spell. So now they're actually thawing out and I can actually start using them so I can fill up those barrels in the greenhouse and start testing the theory of a thermal mass. So, carrying five gallon buckets of water back and forth to the greenhouse for the better part of a week now. Trying to get these things full. Luckily, after we filled the first one, which took a little bit, uh, we had uh, a good thaw. We had a really good rain after that. So the rain came, refilled the barrel, I was able to empty it out filled the second one uh, so lucky last night we had just one last rain and now I can fill the final barrel in the greenhouse with this last little bit of rain that's in that water barrel and then I can actually close that thing down for the winter so it's kind of a win-win for me because I really need to get that off the gutter we don't have any kind of freeze issues or anything like that so I'm glad I get to finally fill these up and get that taken care of at the same time with the first barrel uh, one of the other ideas my wife came up with and mind you she is the really thrifty one in our relationship when it comes to money i would have ran a hose from my kitchen sink out here and just filled these up if it were up to me but she uh, is a little more thrifty and a little more uh, cost effective than I am at times. She came up with the idea of, well, if I can't use the water barrels because they're completely frozen and I use whatever was thawed, she said, well, when you give the kids a bath, instead of draining the water, why don't you scoop it out and take it in there uh, and put it in the buckets, take, take it out here and put it in the barrel. And I thought that actually works really well. So uh, we are actually able to save a bunch of money. <laughs> filling these with water from our rain barrels luckily due to the the weather warming up we were able to use those a lot and then using the uh, kids bath water now it's just soap in there and a little bit of kid dirt but uh i'm not using this to water plants i'm not using this to drink it's literally just gonna hold water and try to be a thermal mass so that seemed like the perfect solution on a good way. That's kind of how we filled the first one. And then the rain barrel thawed out. So now I'm getting these other ones filled up. And we're almost all the way full on all of them. And then we'll be ready to start all of our experimenting and tracking of temperatures and stuff. I'm very excited about this because I want to see what this really does. And make sure I give you guys a good idea of if this is something you can do or not. With a very minimal... I only have three barrels. Now, I'm really starting to think that... I would probably need like 15 of them to do anything in this greenhouse, uh, which obviously I don't have room for 15 of them in here. Uh, then I wouldn't have a greenhouse, I would have a rain barrel house. All right, there you guys go. All three of them are full, well, pretty much full. So I filled them up probably to about this line right here. 
on the handle I left a little bit of room because I'm I really kind of doubt that this is gonna work what I'm thinking we're gonna do is end up putting some kind of a solar air heater and I'm probably gonna put it so that it pipes into one of these barrels and daisy chains to another barrel and then kind of like circulate warm air through the barrels hopefully that'll help heat the water some warm that water up during the day so i think that's going to be a future test on the road here but for now we're going to leave them with the water in them we're going to see what they can actually do if they do anything or not and yeah i'm pretty excited about it. i got it done so took a little bit of work but we're here now, finally got them full. Hopefully we get a few days of good sunshine. We can see what it looks like with sun. And then we get a few days where maybe it's not so sunny and we can actually see what it's like. I've noticed just a little bit of temperature difference between the top of the barrel and the bottom of the barrel. Somewhere about the five degree range. It seems like it's cooler at the bottom, about five degrees less than it is at the top. The top so far from everything I've tested has not been warmer than the uh, outside temperature really or, or the uh, not the outside temperature the inside temperature of the greenhouse it hasn't been warmer than that so we'll see how that keeps going I know you guys are looking back there and thinking what a disaster and you're right <laughs> so now that we're getting some of the insulation done now that we got this kind of done uh, waiting to do some testing I think we're gonna work on that next so if you want to see me figure out how I'm gonna get more counter space in here without completely re destroying everything since i got everything built in here now and uh you know these are going to be really hard to move now <laughs> so the next challenge is a bigger challenge that i created myself by not uh taking care of that before i did this but i wanted to make sure i got these done because i want to show you guys if this is something that's viable for us really northern climates or if you are going to have to have so many barrels that it's almost going to be useless to you. So we're going to find out, guys. And you know I'm going to show you because that's what I promised and that's what I like to do. I like to make sure that we all know it does work or it doesn't work. This is actual information. There's some other good channels like my friend the uh, Pharmacy Seed Network. He's done a lot of really cool uh, greenhouse videos on heating his greenhouse. And the one thing that's different about him and I is he's using a rocket stove to do a lot of heating. So the rocket stove definitely helps him produce a ton of heat in his greenhouse and keep it really warm. I'm trying to only use passive means of heating for this greenhouse. I don't want to get into having a uh, stoke of fire or anything plugged in out here. I want it to only be passive heating uh, or passive uh, not even heating necessarily as much as temperature storing <laughs> passive temperature storing I wanted to stay warm in here without me doing anything that way if I'm ever sent out of town for you know a week or so I don't have to worry about it getting too cold in here uh, I don't have to worry about my wife trying to come out here and stoke a fire or anything like that so I'm literally looking for the most passive way to heat this greenhouse or at least retain heat inside of it I always say heating but I guess of really what we're doing is retaining any heat that we can build throughout the day well that's it guys i'm getting out of here i gotta go inside i know the kids want to play uh and then oscar will be waking up from his nap the little wizard of oz and you know we'll have a full on uh, all the kids ready to to go for the rest of the day until uh, we make dinner so <sighs> we will see you guys in the very next video as always and remember be bold live bold and love bold. See you guys on the next one.